there was a great disciple of Buddha whose name is Samantha Bhadra. And he made a lot, a lot, a lot of the noble wishes for sentient beings. So Buddha recommended all the followers to follow his wish. All the followers, if you don't know how to make good wishes, you follow my disciple Samantha Bhadra's wishes. So there's beautiful slogans for sentient beings. Yeah? So here we practice that. So we recite the slogans that wishes, wishes made by Bodhisattva Samadha Bhadra for living beings. So we are so making the same wishes for, for living beings. Well, uh, Buddhists say the mind is called alaya consciousness. Alaya consciousness is the ground mind. That ground mind keeps all the uh, karmic minds. Karmic minds means if you have a strong compassion, then that is positive karmic minds. If you have, if you have a strong anger, then that is negative karmic thoughts. So these karmic thoughts of mind carries Karma. Yeah? Karma. So, in the Alaya consciousness, you may have billions and billions of uh, <coughs> karmic thoughts. According to <coughs> our mistaken mind, we have selfish, ego. The ego always will develop the negative thoughts. So, Naturally, all living beings will have, has, all living beings have maximum negative thoughts. Since you have ego, self-clinging, so negative thoughts is the maximum. Why not? Because I need it. I want to be the best. If anything, if anything happens around you which does not serve for yourself, then you will get angry. You will try to damage that, destroy the others, in, to secure your own benefits. So negative thoughts is the maximum. When you die, then one of the strongest thoughts will ripen, which will give a bad next life. Yeah? Therefore, human life, among the all, the precious human life is really the minority. You have billions, billions, billions of living beings, but human is the minority. Plus, precious human life is the minority. So, Samadha Bhadra's wishing prayer is also no, wishing prayers is one of the best methods to store the positive karmic thoughts in the mind. And that will subdue all your negative thoughts. Because out of compassion, out of compassion without attachment. So you are the best understanding of Dharma can influence your mind. You can raise up limitless compassions without attachment. And out of that compassion, then when you make the wish by following the Samantha Bhadra's wish, which is the great wishes he made, if you don't know, you may not know how to make great wishes. If you agree with the wishes made by the great Bodhisattva, then it is your wishes. That's the practice now. 